So yeah, we are the Western University Roman in Three Days team. Um, so this is just how far we've gone after the three days. Um, and I think we made some decent progress into getting a couple of prototypes up and running and kind of exploring different ideas centered around the kit frame. Um, we wanted to keep this build as simple as possible. So a lot of the parts are from essentially two kit bots and some scrap metal. And we felt that this is a very accessible way for teams to go ahead and approach this year's game. Um, so the plan for this video is to kind of just walk through the different iterations that we had, the mechanisms that we built, and some improvements that we can make in order to inspire teams going forward um, for what we can do in order to improve this bot. Yeah, so um, the first mechanism we started by building is this shooter here. Um, it's, it's come a long way from stage one. Stage one was uh, on, it was what, like hour four or five of, um, of the RI3D. It was a piece of foam core with two mini sims mounted to it. Um, the, the whole shooter is two mini sims with uh, two, what, what's the hardness of these wheels? Probably like ADA. Yeah, ADA wheels. Um, and two mini sims driving them direct drive uh to the wheel it's a pretty simple design we have the wheels on the one side here why don't we spin the bot yeah so we have the wheels on this side and then open on the other side so as the ring comes through it spins along the side of the the side wall of this this is a second kit bot uh, frame so it spins along the side of the kitbot frame to add spin to the, uh, when the when the note gets shot um, to feed the note up to the shooter we have a simple window motor with a belt and compliant wheels and these grab hold of the note from the intake and then feed it up slowly to the shooter as you'll see in the next clip Okay. So for the intake, we originally planned to just do a passive system to feed from the um, feeder station. Simply we would drop through here and then we would shoot out with the same direction. That way simplifying the need for a conveyor system. But in our case, since we finished the shooter a lot more ahead of time, um, we decided to tackle uh, ground pickup and we wanted to see how this would go. So essentially, for our ground pickup, we wanted to see if we could manufacture as little parts as possible given our, the size of our team and the, the machines we had available to us. And so we came up with the idea of just using some rollers, as you can see down here, that are, used, that are connected with shoulder bolts to some holes that we drilled into the kit frame. And so with this measurement, it is... 3.57 inches from the ground, um, which gives you a 0 0.15 inch of compression on the note. And that was just something arbitrary that we chose and it seems to work pretty well um, for our case. And so we are running this using a 775 Pro with a 10 to one gear ratio and then a little, probably a two to one ratio on our sprocket using belt. And so essentially, the note will come under the bumper and then it will get picked up by these wheels. And so you'll see that we have a gap in the wheel. And one thing that we had issues with was we had too much compression on our intake and we decided to remove these center wheels, allowing the note to flex. And with this flex, the inner area of the note would essentially come through a lot easier. So. Um, with the way that these wheels are positioned, you can see that um, the two tracks kind of race along the outer edges, and this allows us to intake it really smoothly. Um, we also found that this area was kind of a dead zone, so we quickly added in a second roller. Um, again, this is just shoulder bolts on a churro. And then from there, it feeds into our conveyor system. And so yeah, that's kind of how we built the ground pickup for this year. Before I get started talking about the uh, climb, I want to stress about the importance of low but firm compression on the, on the note. 
Um, having too much compression causes it to, to kind of deform and get stuck between the wheels. Um, so about 0.15, I think you said, yeah. is, is a pretty good number. Um, our climb is pretty dead simple. It's a, it's a winch ran by two sims on 12 point, a 12.75 gear ratio. Um, and the bot sort of just rams into the, the chain, pulls back on the hook. Um, it kind of gets deflected under, and then when we drive back the other way, it gets caught. Um, and then you winch ourselves, we winch ourselves up, and uh, that's it. Um, I think if we had a bit more time to work on this robot, um, at least for the climber, we only have one one wheel for the shooter, or for the shooter, sorry. Uh, we only have one wheel, and I feel like if we added a second wheel uh, for added thickness, we get more grip on the on the note when shooting it. Um, it'd be a lot a lot cleaner and probably shoot a bit better. <laughs> Um. Um, as for the intake, when it comes to improvements, I think one of the biggest things is, so if you saw how our intake works, we have kind of a Lexan plate underneath. Um, we didn't have enough time to finely tune the length of that Lexan piece, so we kept cutting it arbitrarily. But with more time, you can find that right amount so that once the note intakes, it does not hit the lip of the Lexan and kind of deflate. So you want it to be a smooth um, entry into your mechanism. And speaking of entry into the mechanism, to get to the shooter, one thing we noticed was we used um, some side rollers in order to transport the, um, the note up. And we felt that there was a lot of issues in the kind of the alignment of the note as it enters through the shooter. And this, was, this could be solved by potentially using two belts instead of one belt. Um, but I think maybe a top-down approach to your um, kind of conveyor system would be a lot better um, because then it will fix the note in place and nicely uh, push it out to your shooter. The climb hook could uh, definitely have some improvements made to it. Um, having a serrated hook will probably help catch on to the, the chain a lot more. Um, or having a, a locking hook that kind of has a ratchet that grabs onto the chain could help as well. Um, it's really important to get the climb centered around or close to the uh, center of mass of the bot. Um, being able to dangle freely, it might touch the floor a bit. Um, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, I think that's all we have for uh, this RI3D as we come to a close. Um, I hope our findings help your build season and good luck on this season. Bye. Bye. <laughs>